Ember Power here, and welcome back to a new video. In this one, we have some rather surprising news actually to talk about. And in case you haven't noticed from the title, the pre release promos from Zidian Flames have been revealed. Now, why this is so interesting is because Obsidian Flames is the set releasing in August. It is our third Scarlet and Violet set, so the set that's after Paldea evolved. And what's strange is that this was posted on June 7th, which is actually a couple of days before Paldea evolved even releases in English. Now, we know that Obsidian Flames is made up primarily of the set Ruler of the Black Flame, which is a set releasing in Japan next month. But typically, we won't usually see cards for the next set, like the next main Japanese set. We won't see those cards revealed until just after the, the latest English set releases. So to see pre-release promos as well, of all things, in English, full English, that is just so strange, like just before another set is due to come out, because I'm pretty sure we had to wait ages to see the Paldea Evolved pre-release promos as well. So it's just all very strange, but hey, I'm not complaining. I love looking at new card reveals and theorizing about decks you can build with them. And fortunately for us, these pre-release promos are pretty cool. Now, typically pre-release promos, well, not typically all the time, they are going to be alternate artworks of cards in the set, so of course these are all confirmed cards, we just don't know what the other artworks will look like. So we do have some English cards to look at here, including a uh, first Palafin in the Pokemon TCG. Now I think a lot of people expected Palafin to be game changing in the TCG because of how competitive it is in the VGC, but then again Palafin is along along with like Dondozo and Tatsuguri are all highly competitive Pokemon. And then, you know, Dondozo and Tatsuguri haven't had a great showing in the TCG so far. So unfortunately, it doesn't really translate very well to the TCG. But Palafin has 150 HP, which is pretty decent for a stage one single prize, to be honest. Has the attack Jet Punch, which is reminiscent, of course, of Boswell GX in the early Sun and Moon era, as well as Landra CX from before that in black and white. It also has the attack, oh, I think it's black and white, but yeah, also has second attack Justice Kick, which for two water energy says if this Pokemon didn't move from the bench to the active spot this turn, this attack does nothing. But if it did, it does 210 damage. And what's wild to me is that Glissopod GX, which was a two prizer from the early Sun and Moon era, as well as, you know, Buzzball with Jet Punch is that card had a first impression attack, admittedly for one less grass energy, uh, so it was just one basic energy, and that did 120 damage when it moved from the bench to the active. And you've got Justice Keg over here doing 210. Now, as some people have pointed out already, this is unfortunately kind of outclassed by the Titan from Paldea Evolved, the one that does about 200 and... I think it's 220 or... Oh, whoops. It is like 220 to 240 damage, I believe, for just three energy. And you basically, you pay it with reverse energy when you're behind on prizes. So that's probably just a better option. But honestly, for two water energy to do 210 damage is wildly efficient, especially for a single prizer. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this pops up in a deck somewhere down the line. Now, of course, you do need two water energy on there. How are you getting this powered up? I have no idea. Raihan seems kind of slow, to be honest, and if you whiff, the, obviously, the first turn attachment, that's going to be pretty annoying. But you could, you, you know, you could use Bax Caliber, but that's a stage two, I guess. But either way, it seems like a super strong single prize Pokemon. Is it going to be extremely competitive? Probably not, to be honest, but, you know, it does seem pretty decent overall. Also, a really nice burst option in GLC as well, because you can just move into active, playing a switch or escape rope. Make use of Justice Kick, and then even if you don't get another Justice Kick off in the game, you can still use Jet Punch to start softening up your opponent's bench Pokemon. Next up, though, we do have a Cleffa, which marks the return of baby Pokemon. Unfortunately, unlike the original Cleffa, there is no kind of like Poke Power that says this Pokemon may or may not take damage through a coin flip. It is literally just Grasping Draw that says, draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand, and then of course 30 HP and retreat so this is obviously a, uh, obviously a utility pokemon this is not designed to be left in the active spot to attack with 
So, you know, actually you got decent synergy with the Palafin if you try to set up for a Justice Kick. But honestly, this Kalefa seems really good, especially since it's reminiscent of the Gourmandai Snorlax that has seen a bunch of play throughout its life in rotation. So I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't go on to be like a one-off in certain decks, especially decks like uh, God of War that just wants to draw more cards and set up. So yeah, I definitely think Kalefa is really solid. It also means that we'll be seeing more baby Pokemon. Like they wouldn't just release one baby Pokemon and call it a day. So I'd be extremely surprised if we don't see a majority of the other baby Pokemon in this set, you know, like Munchlax and Tyrogue. But yeah, very strong card. Also looking forward to this in the Trunk League. It's going to be very cool. But yeah, definitely a cool card overall. Next up is we have Togekiss, which is probably the weakest, I would say, of the previous promos, but it does have the cool ability Precious Gift. At the end of your turn, after you attack, so this isn't like an end your turn kind of thing, this is just after you attack, you may use this ability, draw cards until you have 8 cards in your hand. Which is honestly a really solid ability to have. Of course, it is on the stage 2, which makes it super awkward. We do have the um, Togepi though, and the Togetic, I believe, Togepetic, this stage 1, and both of those Pokemon do actually offer you a little bit of additional utility. If you're playing the ones from, I can't remember the exact set it is. It's like Astral Radiance or something. But when you play them from your hand onto your bench, you or you evolve them, you can heal a bit of damage from your active Pokemon. So you could use like the Togepi to heal 10 damage, and then Togetic heals like 40 or something. I'm not. It's been a while since I've looked at those cards, but you can see where I'm going with this. You could build it in as like a pseudo heal slash draw engine. Of course, it's not going to come into effect until the end of your turn, and your opponent could play an Iono, and you could lose that 8-card hand, but still, honestly, pretty solid ability and maybe worth considering. Also has Fear Retreat, which is very appealing. Next up, though, we do have the Marwile, which is, I believe, eerily reminiscent of Marwile GX, I want to say. Or maybe, actually, maybe it wasn't Marwile GX, it was Kartana GX, yeah, Kartana GX. So there was a GX Pokemon that said when you put it onto from your hand onto your bench, you could discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, admittedly, Katana did have a GX attack that was pretty solid, just allowed you to take a prize card. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is kind of just outclassed by that, in a sense, in the way that this probably won't see as much play as Katana GX did. But honestly, being able to just discard a special energy at whim is kind of powerful in certain situations. Obviously, control decks would really like this if they, you know, if you're not obviously just running Evolutal Celebrations, you want to attack with something else and then maybe use this ability. You know, decent disruption against Mew, I guess, as well as Lugia. So definitely worth considering. Definitely not the worst ability in the world either. But I would definitely say the best previous promo is probably the Cleffa, to be honest. I can see Cleffa being splashed into a bunch of decks. And, you know, Plafin isn't too bad either. So yeah, that's kind of like all the news for Obsidian Flames. Um, these four cards, as noted before, should come from Japan's Rule of Black Flame, which releases in July. The set hasn't been revealed in Japan yet, nor have any of its cards. So depending on when this video goes up, this information might be subject to change. If I had to guess, we'll probably see the first reveals for Rule of the Black Flame tomorrow, actually, on the 9th. So if this video is like released on the 10th or something, I do apologize. I just thought it was interesting news and I did want to talk about it so I'll try and get it out to you guys as quickly as possible but yeah this has been Emma Power thank you for watching let me know what you think of the new previous promos and yeah thank you for watching